Queen Elizabeth uh, gave uh, Johnson permission to suspend Parliament, and Johnson insisting that Brexit still will happen as planned on October 31st. Let's find out from Niall Gardner. He's from the Heritage Foundation, and he's here to help us sort it all out. Uh, you know, before we get to the minutiae of all of this, I was shocked at, at that Pierce Morgan uh, tweet uh, uh, over the weekend. Do you, do you think there are enough people in the, in the U.K. who might have been remainders but say, hey, this is the will of the people and we're making a big mistake if we don't let it happen? Yeah, I think there are quite a lot of people like Piers Morgan who voted remain who are now fed up with these efforts to stop Brexit. They just want to move forward. And Morgan's tweet, I think, encapsulates a lot of the frustration that tens of millions of Britons are feeling right now. The fact that Brexit hasn't been delivered, you have a parliament that is doing all it can to delay Brexit with the ultimate goal of derailing Brexit. This is what parliament is trying to do. They're trying to destroy a Brexit rather than implementing the will of the people, which is the role of parliament. Uh, after all, 17.4 million Britons voted to leave the EU in 2016. They want to see that delivered. Parliament is standing in the way. Is it the establishment slash big business that's driving all of this? Because I know there was a massive fear campaign leading up to the vote that didn't work out, but it's, yes. it, it has continued since then. Yeah, I think this is the last stand of the establishment remainers uh, who want to block the popular will of the British people. It really is a battle between the British people and Parliament, and Boris Johnson has certainly framed it as such. And fortunately, we have a prime minister who is absolutely dedicated to delivering uh, Brexit. The reality is he's up against hundreds of uh, members of parliament who simply do not want to respect democracy. And that is at the heart of the problem at the moment in the UK. How do you explain the chaos within his own party? Uh, the, yes. the, the abrupt resignations, uh, the, yeah. the, the, the questionable actions of uh, the, the folks who were supposed to really, really be enforcing this. Well, you have uh, a group of so-called conservatives on the left wing of the Conservative Party who have sided uh, with efforts to block and derail uh, Brexit. And Boris Johnson has said enough is enough. Uh, these individuals should no longer be representing the Conservative Party. And I think Johnson is absolutely right. The Conservative Party should be a party that is led by conservatives, uh, people who believe in conservative principles. And those MPs uh, who have consistently tried to undermine efforts to deliver Brexit, I think, have paid the price uh, for that. And I think the Conservative Party is now moving back towards a more traditional Thatcherite right. approach, actually. Uh, the fact that there's so much anxiety and, and pressure not to go with a no-deal Brexit, how much leverage has that given the EU? It feels like every time Theresa May made the trip to Brussels hat in hand, she always came back empty-handed and humiliated. Yes, I think Theresa May was incredibly weak-kneed, and she, in effect, surrendered to the European Union, and she consistently ruled out a no-deal uh, Brexit. So Britain had no negotiating leverage, whereas Boris Johnson has said that Britain will leave the EU on October 31st, deal or no deal. That's exactly the right Is message to send. Is he still positioned to do that now that he has a minority government uh, and there's so much chaos? Can he still get this through after all of the votes in the last 48, 72 hours? He's still committed to doing so, uh, and I think there are still ways uh, through which Brexit can be delivered on October the 31st. Uh, and we do have a Prime Minister and a government that is 100% committed to, to doing so. Uh, and uh, it's certainly going to be a roller coaster ride in the next few weeks, Sir Charles, but I still believe that Brexit will be delivered on October the 31st and Britain can then celebrate its, its own independence and freedom from the EU. All right, then you guys can have a Thanksgiving like we do, and then, then Boris Johnson and his brother can be awkward, have that awkward moment, and they <laughs> yes. can finally get back together. Exactly. Thank you very much, Nala. Thank Appreciate you very much, Charles. It.